Hey everyone, Kyle Erickson here. I have used a ton of different keyboards over the years, both Windows and Mac. And one thing that I've always found difficult, especially with Mac specific keyboards, is finding high quality products. I think historically, if you wanted a really nice keyboard that wasn't Apple branded on a Mac, you'd probably be using a PC layout keyboard, which wasn't ideal. Uh, there were a few options out there that were Mac specific, but in the past few years, there's been really a surge in both budget and premium keyboards that have Apple layouts. And that is why we're here today. I've got three keyboards here, which I find to be some of the best Mac keyboards out there. Uh, all very similar in price point and size. Uh, are there other great Mac keyboards out there? Sure, but I think these three are very common models that probably everyone knows about and they're all pretty affordable. First off, one of these does look quite a bit different than the others, that being the Keychron K2, which is a mechanical keyboard that I have predominantly used over the last year with my Mac Mini. Uh, I originally bought this keyboard as something that I could use both between Mac and Windows because I did use both at the time of purchase, which is a really great reason to choose this keyboard. You can switch between Windows and Mac layouts. The build quality is great. You can use this both in wired and Bluetooth modes. Uh, it does have multi-device pairing, so you can quickly switch between connections if you want to pair this to your laptop, uh, your tablet, or a desktop. It's very versatile in that regard and it does have a backlight with a bunch of different patterns and brightness settings to choose from. The keys are fully customizable. You can buy keycaps right from Keychron if you want something unique, similar to what I have. And you can pick up whatever switches you like the most as well. They do include both Windows and Mac swappable keycaps, and I find the keys themselves are very responsive, and they don't require too much travel to actuate them. If you do like the feel of a mechanical keyboard more than a chiclet style, this is a great option. The Apple Magic Keyboard, on the other hand, is a lot different, a completely different style of keys. These are chiclet style keys. Obviously, this keyboard only works with Apple devices, and is much more compact in size. For me, this keyboard has the most premium build quality out of these three, with the aluminum shell, uh, the small details like the power switch, the rounded corners, and the space between the keys and the edges. Just like the K2, you can use this in both wired and wireless modes. It just doesn't support multi-device connections. And the lightning cable that does come with it is very nice as well, being a white braided cable with a USB-C connection on the other end. I do really like that the key layout on the Magic Keyboard is identical or at least very close to that of a MacBook. It's predictable if you're used to typing on a MacBook. There isn't a whole lot that you have to get used to if you've got that built-in muscle memory. The key presses feel pretty nice. Again, very similar to a new MacBook. You have pretty good battery life as well, and it's got a super low profile that allows you to type on it for long periods of time without ever needing a wrist wrist. The Logitech MX Keys Mini kind of has a lot of the same characteristics of a Magic Keyboard, but it brings in some things that are on the Keychron as well. You've got a decent build quality, maybe not quite up to the level of the Magic Keyboard, but very close. There is multi-device pairing just like there is on the K2. It does have scissor style chiclet keys, but they have this indented surface that are really satisfying to type on. It's fully backlit, it charges through USB-C, and it's just nice and flat on the desk and it's able to use without a wrist rest as well. Now, I purposely didn't say many negative things about these keyboards up to this point because I do think that they are all great options. Uh, I just wanted to focus on what makes them great. And depending on your preferences and what your needs might be, you could very well choose any of these over the other. For me, having used all three of these keyboards, there are some reasons why I think that the MX Keys Mini sit just above the other two here, at least in my opinion and what I use it for. As many of you know, I'm mostly using my keyboard for content creation. I do a ton of typing and using keyboard shortcuts when I'm editing videos and so on. And for that type of work, I do personally find that chiclet style keyboards work best for me. 
And I think the thing I like about the MX keys is you still have a fair amount of key travel at around two millimeters, where the Magic Keyboard is only at 1.2 and the Keychron is at the other end of the spectrum at four. So it sits kind of nicely in between the two. Those domed keycaps on the MX keys, I do find a little bit more comfortable than the others and the typing experience is amazing. One thing that I've noticed on the Keychron is occasionally a hair or something will get stuck behind the key switch and that will cause some intermittent keystroke issues where I'd have to pop off a keycap and clean it out, which I've never had to do on the MX keys or the Magic Keyboard. I've had a very similar experience on the connection side of things as well. Uh, the MX keys mini does have multi-device support, just like the K2 if I want to quickly switch between my iPad, my MacBook, or my Mac mini, but I just do find that it does connect faster and it's been a bit more solid. Uh, it also does have a nice backlight, very similar to the K2. And while this is the only keyboard out of the bunch that doesn't offer wired use, it does have to be connected through Bluetooth. The latency performance far exceeds both the Magic Keyboard and the Keychron by a decent margin. The Magic Keyboard actually has the worst performance out of the bunch with 30 milliseconds latency using Bluetooth and 27 wired. Well, the Keychron is at about 25 with Bluetooth and just under 16 wired. Uh, the MX Keys Mini, on the other hand, is just over 16 milliseconds with Bluetooth, which is fantastic. I do think that if you're using these keyboards, it's highly likely that you're just using wired mode when you're charging your battery, which is another area where this keyboard excels. The MX Keys Mini has an advertised five month battery life on a single charge. Well, the Magic Keyboard comes in at around a month, followed by the Keychron, which is listed at 240 hours. Keep in mind that this is with the backlight off. Uh, anytime you crank that up, it's going to draw more power, but overall it does perform a lot better than the others here. Uh, I definitely notice a huge difference, especially from the Keychron to the MX Keys Mini. I also like that it does have a little bit more of an angle when it's sitting flat as compared to the Magic Keyboard with a six degree tilt versus the 2.8 degree that you get from Apple. The Keychron is a little bit of a different angle there as it is adjustable with feet on the bottom of the keyboard but in order to get a comfortable typing experience you really do need a proper wrist rest where the other two you don't. The Keychron is a bit of a chonker as well, and it's just not as portable and lightweight as the other two. The MX Keys Mini is not perfect though. There are still a few things that I wish were different, mostly to do with the key layout. I do wish that they would have kept a more standard layout that exists on Apple keyboards, uh, like having the emoji button where the function key is, and I don't like that they got rid of the forward and previous track media controls. I do occasionally use those, so it's a bit of a drag that those aren't there. And I do prefer the arrow keys on the Magic Keyboard as well. I just feel like they've filled out the space there a little bit better. Those are some pretty minor things that I can live with. And overall, I think that this is just a really nice premium keyboard with a great typing experience. The MX Keys Mini kind of draws good aspects from both the K2 and the Magic Keyboard. And that is one of the main reasons why I prefer it and why I think it's probably the best compact keyboard available out there right now. That being said, these are all amazing options and I don't think that you'll be disappointed with any of them. They are leaps and bounds better than any cheap budget keyboard that you're gonna find out there. Now they do have their strengths and weaknesses, so it's really up for you to decide which one is going to be best for you. I will leave links in the description below to each of these models if you're interested in them. And if you do have any questions on these keyboards, or maybe you want to chat about these models specifically, or you have a different favorite keyboard that you want to talk about, uh, drop a comment down below. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more tech related content. Uh, I try and drop videos every week, so keep your eyes peeled for new stuff. There is loads on the way. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.